Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about business and branding and marketing and so, so much more. So for this video, we're gonna do something that I also did in a previous video recent recently. Uh, we are gonna read from my journal because I had a big revelation about receiving abundance which I talked about in a previous video but for this one it delves a little bit deeper into the idea of success and of the flow of giving and receiving when it comes to success and when it comes to even interacting with your audience or your customer or whatever it is that you interact with <laughs> so we're going to read from this journal and I wrote this on the 21st of December 2020 so I put it's not about receiving because I make music or because I spent hours making jewellery. It's not because I work hard. Hard work does not determine worth or deservance of receiving. I receive because I am a fractal of God or source. Because life is an energetic flow of giving and receiving. What we each receive and what we each give is down to our own intent, our will our choice but we always give and receive so kindness love anger gifts truth art a hug hate everything is an energetic exchange of give and receive i determine what i receive by what i believe how i perceive this reality my level of consciousness each chakra and how it's centered my intent is my heart chakra centered is my root chakra because these affect my beliefs therefore intent therefore action which is giving and cause and effect will always give back so am i worthy of receiving always infinitely am i worthy of receiving all of the high vibrational things that i want absolutely because my intent is heart-based love joy purpose passion so all of the incredible things i want to receive are able to enter because i'm on the same frequency as them i'm reprogramming the old generational frequency and i'm choosing higher more love so I can pass that down to new generations and I'm doing it so publicly so other souls and bloodlines can remember for themselves and pass down higher vibrational beliefs to their families too and we collectively transform earth. We create abundance together. So I wanted to just share that because although it kind of ties into my previous video but for this one I want to talk about the fact that, what did I say about... Um, we're always giving and receiving continuously and oftentimes we get this um, belief or this idea that you need to put in so many hours in order to receive and I kept thinking like oh I, I'm worthy of receiving because I'm working so hard I'm worthy of receiving because I make music and it's just really good or I'm worthy of receiving because my jewellery is so good and I realised recently that that's not why I receive you know there's no man in the sky sitting there saying oh her jewellery is good let me give her something that she wants and this person's jewellery is shit so let me not give them anything you know like that does not happen that is not how it works it's an energetic flow of being in vibrational alignment with what you want so working hard does obviously help because you're putting in action but it's about the vibrational state that you're in so if you're working hard and you're doing something that you hate and it makes you feel shit and you feel low all of the time you're not likely to align with anything high vibrational because you're not on a high vibration you're likely to align with more things that make you feel shit because you're already feeling that way so your deservance and your worth of your success is not determined by how much work you put in, it's not determined by how good your art is or how good your product is or how good your service is, it's not determined by it, how many hours you put in or any of those kind of things, it's simply determined by your belief system, by your emotions and your intent. So if you are authentic, if you are um, choosing love, choosing kindness, choosing compassion and all of these kind of things that put you in a high frequency. If you're choosing that and you're moving from that high frequency 
obviously you still feel low emotions, so I'm not saying that you never feel low emotions, but what I'm saying is that your intent comes from that place, then you are gonna receive so much that also comes from that place and isn't that what we want? So we can stop beating ourselves up over not working hard or over having two hours sleep or over grinding ourselves into the ground or not being as good as somebody else or whatever other reason we tend to bash ourselves for and focus on vibrational alignment by realizing the fact that you are worthy simply by existing and that you don't need to do anything in order to be worthy you already are and also by I feel like it kind of helps you redefine what success is for you because if you realize that you don't need to put in a thousand hours in order to be worthy or that you don't need to create the most incredible art piece in order to be worthy like if you realize that those things do not create your worth that you're already worthy and that you're already successful it can kind of help you redefine what happiness and what success is for you because then you realize that you're not lacking anything that you don't need to become anything else in order to receive your abundance that all you need to do is feel good literally all you need to do is feel good and you will keep on attracting more things that make you feel good so when we realized that I think it kind of helps or at least for me it helped um open up my mind and spark more inspiration for the fact that I determine my own worth and my own success I determine what success is for me so for me I'm already successful even though I'm also, I perceive it as being at the start of my journey because I haven't been doing it that long and I am at the start of my journey of building my brand and I'm not yet at the, um, I can't speak now, I'm not yet at the stage where I work full-time in my business, like I'm not full-time self-employed, I still have a part-time job, so for me I'm still at the start of my journey but I realise that I determine what success is for me because of the fact that I'm already worthy right here right now and I don't need to do anything I don't need to create music I don't need to create jewelry I don't need to do any of this I don't need to film these videos in order to be worthy I already am which means that my level of success or my idea of what success is can switch to being about happiness can switch to being about fulfillment and joy and having connections, being able to talk to you, like having a conversation with you is success. If that makes sense, like you can just redefine it for yourself in your own individual path and change the narrative, change that old tired belief of needing to do whatever in order to create your worth because it already exists, you know? So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to check out the description box below for all links to my music, my social media, my phone number, because I do send daily inspirational, spiritual thoughts and videos every day via text and WhatsApp. So all links to that will be in the description box below, as well as Elemental Mirror, my clothing jewelry brand, and one-to-one -one sessions with me if you would like guidance on your business or branding or even personal things like relationships, emotional regulation, spiritual things, anything to do with anything. <laughs> All links and information to that is on my website which is linked in the description box below as well. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye. You could say I